finished the painting I think I have I'm not doing any more so now it's time to put them back together give them a little oil and then give me a parade on the um, rotating turntable thingy I do so you can see them properly so we'll start off with the easier diesel let's move that out of the way so I want that and that don't want that okay dokey the two so it's only held on with one screw each I think I might need that. We take the that now. Which way around does it go? Uh -huh. It must go that way. Yes, that way. Yeah, the, the square that bit is more this way, which corresponds to. Oh well, well you got the. Oh no, that's, a, that's that's where the screw goes in that one. Yeah, that boss there, which oh, it must be this way around then. Yeah, there's a hole. There's a hole that end. So it's this way round. Not as you think. Anyway, let's see. Put it in and see how it goes back together again. I'll put it in there. So then potential damage to the paintwork I'll just put on it. Yeah, got, uh, you've got to get those spring clip things in there somehow. It's sticking out the edge there. Ah, no, wait a minute. No, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Nope, nope, change your mind. Of course, I took all the grease off of the worm wheel, didn't I? In there, so it's best to put the grease on there first. So I'll find some greasy type stuff to put on there. Alright, found some. Some of this stuff, Labelle 106 Micro Gears and O-Ring Groove Grease with PTFE. Uh, you want grease rather than oil on this bit, so it doesn't need much. Just squeeze a little bit. That's probably all it needs, that little bit there. I'll do the other one at the same time, won't I? A little goes a long way with this stuff. Okay. Get one out of the way again. And have another go, shall we? Oh, we can uh, work the grease in using the old 9 volt battery quick. Don't do it. Like that. There we go. All disappeared in there now. Any more than that. Alright, the whole thing. So this way round. And push that in. My hands are cleaned and I'll touch grease. That's got to go in there somehow. Like that. Get 
look right. Let's get to any of it. Oh, we're supposed to, oh, hang on. We're supposed to do this at some funny angle, I think. Yeah. Mess of this, aren't I? Hang on, how's this go? He's, oh, that bit clicks in, I see. Those bits are a click fit. Okay, okay. There's no wedging sideways movement like this, it's just straight in by the looks of it. How do we know we got it in the right place? Try again then. I'm getting there. Should just click in like that. Oh. All right. Yeah. Look at the buffer beams each end. Check there. They look right. They look right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, don't break that. And the hole lines up there. So get my screwdriver. Oh, that easy. That's quite a tight fit. That. I have to give it quite a bit of push. Get this to go without it falling all over the place. Go on, off you go. What's the matter with that? No, that's hold is not no, it's not quite a line. Yeah, we do. We have got it in the right body, haven't we? Yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't want to put anything down there and lever it against that. A bug of the thread up. So why is that not going in there properly? Mm hmm. I have to sort this out. Now. Definitely the right way around. So I put the screwdriver in there and lever this end up. And um, that's bought the the hole centered there. I'll put the screw in now while I can then click it down. Not a lot of room for movement there, it's too tight a fit. Uh, do it up. Like that. I'll only just snip it up, no more. That's it. Now I'll push this end down. There you go, click. What's that look right? Ooh, there we go, that looks alright. It's a bit funny. Alright, let's check it again, test it with a... Yeah, that's alright. For clear, just to make sure the wheels aren't rubbing on anything. Alright, now we put some normal oil on the various bits. It's basically, it's just a loco service because we remove them all. What am I using? Fleischmann Special Oil in German. We buy a on it a last an absolute lifetime. Using the drip it on technique, so a bit on the on the motion. Not too much, tiny little amount. Down there, down there, and on the wheels where the wheels are which is down there and then push the wheels over to get down the other side Test it again. Another way. Both wheels. Make sure my contacts are alright. Alright. 
There you go, that seems to work all right. So take that loco out. Okay, I look at it properly when I do the other bit. Now, this one, so I'll put the grease on here, haven't I? I'll just wear that in quick. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Put this in the low cone. Yeah, you've got to remember on this one that these things go inside those slots on the cylinders. These two slots there and there. So make sure they're in. This might be more tricky. You've probably got to put the body on top of this. So there's the hole. See it through there. It goes with that one there. Well, I've only got one on this one. There. Right. Mm -hmm. Obviously this bit of cylinder there, or whatever that is, lines up with this one. So you know which way around this one is, there's no doubt about that. So I'm gonna have to hold it, won't I? This would be more tricky, you can't turn it upside down. Not very well. These things ping out. Have a look. You know, Oh, you've got these motor spring clips, there's one there, it's in the end of my finger, that loop. Not sure the other one's in the other side, no it's not, so get it in there. There we go, that one's in there as well, one there, one there. Now, yeah. yeah, what you got to do, oh yeah, there's a, where is it? There's a clip at the back here that clicks in, I can just see it. Get in the light. There, see it? It's there. That has to click in. Right. Oops, starting to go, that this way around. Oh, these things are pinging out again, aren't they? So you have it upside down and mess it up. And that bucking in them, you know, watch out. Oh, this is a faff, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure there's an easy tweak to this, but oh, I've got to get those things back in again. That one's in. That one's in. Needs to go along there. Press on the top of the cab, shall we, like that? No, that's not moving. What's the matter with it? Oh, blimey. Oh, it's going sideways, that doesn't help. Probably just got to put it down on the on the mat like this and just press down carefully. Check both sides for those motions are in place. Just press. And nothing happens. What is the matter with this? Shouldn't be that difficult, shall I? Is it in? No, it's nowhere near in. What's it in? I'm not breaking something at this rate. Oh, it should just go click. Oh, no, it doesn't want to move. It came out alright. Get in there, stop jamming. It's always jamming all the time, isn't it? Oh, get in there. One in, that one in. Well, that worked. Now. Oh, it doesn't mean won't. What's stopping it? I can't blame the paint for this, I'm sure. This one's falling out. Oh, it's all sideways, look. Yeah, it's going cock eyed. I've done one of these on the real locos before without this moulding on it and I don't remember that being too much of a problem. I must be doing something wrong. 
Get it out again. Must be a case of no, you can't go that way, can you? Damaging these click fit bits on the back of it, don't watch out. Not in, not in, no, not in, look, they're sticking out out here now. Get in there, get in there. Has that done it? Is that right? It doesn't look right to me. Looks like it's too far up this end. Is that trapped? Can't fall out. Let's see if it rotates. Well, the holes are aligned here, so I'll just screw. Hmm, oh, seems to be alright. This looks jacked up, that's all. Yeah, that is. Yeah, I've got some lighting in here. It's not very good, is it? Put this thing in like that. Yeah, the chassis here is touching the bottom of that just there, so that's correct. And ditto the same there, so that's correct. It just looks slightly jacked up at the back. Like those silly capris and things were in the 1970s. The back ends up in the air. Silly idea, that one. Anyway, uh, yeah, that wasn't very elegant, was it? Not convinced that's a brilliant idea. Anyway, we seem to be back together, so let's put the screw in. This made the video longer than it again should be, but it just shows that this, this is not the best fit in the world. And there is a risk of breaking those click together lugs off. Yeah, I'll just tweak that up. That's the same crate of it. Right, okay, and same oil as before. You don't put any oil in those bits, it's metal on plastic. Don't put oil there, not a good idea. So, bit there, bit there, work its way into that joint. Like that. You don't need much. Tiny little bit. So a little goes a long way. And down the bottom. Oh, I'll get down there. And push the wheels over so we can get down between them there. Same on this side. Like that. There, that should be all there is to it. And I'll give it another go with the, with the battery. Just wipe the end. Slightly oily ends. I don't want oily ends, I've just painted something there. A little bit like that, I suppose. Right on that one. Yep, let's check the contact all right from wheel to wheel. Wheel set to wheel set, shall I say? Alright, there we go. And that one there. Well, I set up the um right there. Uh, turntable y thing.
so people can go, oh, we need one of those. Yeah, well, <laughs> this is video number 109. But it's in eight parts, so even though it's all going to be 109 dash 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But it will also end up being the, 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 the video of the children's layout. Yeah. Which this is. Which is behaving itself. It's good to see. Alright. Uh -huh. oh, they're alive. Right? On mine. Well, I'll point it at a train when I'm looking at your, your phone. 46,900 photos, oh, 427 God. videos. <laughs> yeah, I know. And Scary. you know, if I went through it, I could dump probably 60% of it. As if I don't have the strength to go through it. Well, I um, annotate mine as soon yeah. as I finish them. Yeah. With keywords and yeah. you know, steampunk and basic logo. Right. It's tricky to film this when they're going in loop the loop. Right, that's show me what's uh, happening here because I've got to operate this later on or I've got a mind over it. Well, you just put them back on the track and make sure oh, kids don't steal them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you don't control them, the kids do. Yeah, you just sit and watch. Yeah. It's, 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 it's almost impossible to film the locos on this thing. They're constantly changing direction, so it's more. I'm going this corner now. Were they specially developed, oh, sorry, specially made for this layout? What, the locos? Yeah. Yes. Well, they're not made for it, I painted them for it. Yeah. Yeah. They stopped producing that thing, haven't they? Yes. It was a fact, wasn't it? Hornby thought that was... Well, they didn't do a proper job of it. it well, you know. Well, they don't continue with anything. If it, if it doesn't work, you, you, you make it work, don't you? Well, if you, look at a, if you look at a steampunk locomotive on the internet, they're great hulking you know, things. With, they're, they're not a little peewee things like, like these, but, but at least these are cheap. There's only about 33 quid each or something. Yeah. Where's Mel Gibson? Uh, yeah. Right, we'll get down here and look through the tunnel there. There you go. Appreciate the uh, the height now. That's a good idea. Put it down like that. Like that. Here comes one. Whee. There are, but um, Nigel was. It's a case of, do you want to risk it? Uh, they just keep falling off. There it comes, man. It looks like it's been dislodged Actually, looks quite. If you get it right with the scenery Actually, the like that, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Mr. Drabwell's painting don't look too bad. Make it long enough. I can. Oh, it's a separate video in its own right. Ugh. Do a, an aerial shot like this. I don't know. Would that work? Ooh. Get right up here and just about see it's a proper figure of eight. Racing trains. Oh, I'm not going to risk standing on there. Yeah. Finish there. Pan up the. Uh, oh, I know. Hand round to there. There's the boxes. There they are. 